Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Excel 2013 lab number 6 As usual we need two files to get started with this lab We need Excel lab 6 starting file and Excel lab 6 instructions I will go ahead and open these two files side by side as we usually do So uh, in this lab we will learn something very interesting which is called VLOOKUP but before we do that we will uh, learn how to freeze some pins and then how to refer to another spreadsheet are you ready to get started all right so going to the instructions here it says go ahead and open excel lab 6 starting file i already have it here i will go ahead and save it as file and then save as and then i will choose microsoft excel labs and i will save it with the name excel lab uh, 6 I expect you to do the same thing now I have the spreadsheet open and available to me uh, before we get started with the rest of the instructions in this lab please take a look at what I have in this Excel sheet I have a lot of data right so now what is the topic of this lab using VLOOKUP so VLOOKUP means what vertical lookup so VLOOKUP is a function in Excel that will enable me to find a specific data from this large spreadsheet very easy, very quickly. Now, how do I do that? Before I answer this question, please look when I scroll down. What happens to the first two rows to the header of this Excel sheet? As I scroll down, they disappear. So in the instructions, it says freeze the first two rows. So I will go ahead and select the row below them, which is row number three. Let me maximize the window so you can see the entire options. I uh, and then I go to the view tab, view tab, and then click on freeze panes, and then click on freeze panes. Now. Let's go ahead and scroll down and please watch out what happened. There is a thick line. Do you see it? This line here. So this line is telling us that the first two rows are frozen now. So when you scroll down, these two rows will always be visible. And that's a good practice. So you always relate the data for each column to the column header. Are we good on that? Perfect. Let's go ahead and continue with our lab. So we finish freezing the first uh, two rows in the sheet Virginia. This sheet here is called Virginia and I froze the first two rows as you have seen. All right, in the solutions sheet, so you go to the solutions sheet and then it says here complete the following steps. Type the VLOOKUP function in cell B2. So where is, I, there is a table that is already built for you. So all what you need to do is Keep in mind that there is a number in cell B1. This number basically is one of the ID that you see in here. One number. Let's say I'm your manager and I'm asking you to find the county, the city, the resource name, the listed date, and the address for the number I'm giving you in here. So you use VLOOKUP to do that. So building a table like that, I, 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 I hope that by that time you know how to create a structure like the table that you see in here so I'm not going to focus on building the table I'm I'm going to focus on finding the information that you need to tell your manager when your manager gives you a lockup value okay let's say we are working in a company and you are Bob and I'm, I'm your manager Bob please give me the information you see in this table based on this lockup value so what Bob will do once you hear that do you go to the spreadsheet and keep looking at this ID until you locate it and then after you locate it you keep scrolling to the right side to find the information that you are looking for or is there a better way to do that we are computer professionals right so let's go ahead and find a better way to do that how using the V lockup vertical lockup remember in using a vertical lockup the value that you use for lockup has to be at the first column here as you see in the Virginia spreadsheet 
So this is the value that I'm using for lockup. And this uh, value here, this ID or this number, will enable me to find the rest of the data that I need to give to my, to my manager. In cell B2, I will use the VLOCKUP function. So how do you start a function? Equals, yes, you're right. And then what is the name of the function? VLOCKUP. And once you type L, VL, Excel will give you the name of the function. You double click on it and then you have some parameters. You need to provide where is the location of the lockup value. Where is it? It is already given to you in the uh, instructions, which is B1. So if you click on B1, now I have the lockup value. This is the value that I will use to lock up for some data. Now it's looking for the table. Where is the range or what is the range of my table? Before you put the range, you need to put comma. And then after you put comma, I need to refer to the Virginia spreadsheet. So I will type Virginia. And then after I type Virginia, I need to put exclamation mark that is telling Excel I am referring to a data range in the Virginia spreadsheet. I think that is very easy, right? So what is the range of my table? My table is A3, and I will point that out once I finish the uh, function, A3, all the way until cell H, H what? H2804, that's a big, big range of data, right? And I need to make sure to find what? To find the column index number. What is the column index number? The column that has the data I need. For example, keep in mind which column I need from the spreadsheet. I need the county. County has an index number of three. And I will show you that in a, in a minute. Just uh, uh, make sure that we finish the function finish. Uh, first and then go look at our data so county has an index number of three and i will repeat that again so now i need to make sure that the id is false what what does false mean it means that i am looking for an exact match for this id so i will go ahead and type false here and then i will close the parentheses and then press enter it gave me the county name already. So how did this happen? So let's go ahead and go to our table or our spreadsheet. Now, what is the lockup value that I'm using? I'm using a value here from this column, right? Any, any, random, any random number from this column. Your manager can give you any ID or any number and then you use this number as your lockup value, which is equals VLOCKUP B1. B1, where is B1? B1 is the location that you will use to enter the ID or the number that your manager will give you, all right? Now, look in the table that is located in the spreadsheet that's called Virginia in the range A3. Where is A3? A3 is here, all right? Actually, let me go all the way up so you can see here. A3 is here. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see that the last cell is cell H2842. That's why I put that range. And now you understand why I'm using that range because this is the range of data I'm using for my VLOOKUP uh, function. Now, after the range of data, it's asking me for the column index number. I put three. So why did I put three? Because I'm trying to find the county name for the number that my manager my manager gave me. So what is the column index number for county? Let's count from the beginning. This is column one. This is column two. This is column three. That's why when I refer to the column index number, I put three. So let's say you are looking for, which is going to be the next the next uh, uh, item in the instruction, I'm looking for the city. So can anyone tell me what is the index number for the column city? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So if I need the city, I put the column index number as four. So let's go ahead and find the city. All right, so now 
you do you start working with me that's why I'm repeating it so if you don't get it from the first time you get it from the second time and so on so what is the name of my function VLOOKUP and then I will double click on VLOOKUP what is the VLOOKUP value B1 this is the number that I will enter I will get from my manager then column what is the uh, table that I'm using to search for data it is in Virginia right and then exclamation mark and then a3 colon h2842 and then is that correct yes you look in the instructions what is the column index number you tell me I'm looking for the city and I, I counted already the city location is in index number four so I'll put four and then comma and then uh, false to to make sure that I'm looking for this exact value and then close the princess and then press enter so this is the name of the city so resource name I just need you to tell me what is the column index number for resource name let's go back one two three four five so resource name is index number five so what I can do, I can copy the function from here and paste it here and then make the change. So I'll press Ctrl C and then come down here, Ctrl V. Alright, it's giving me error. Why? Because I'm sure it is pointing for something else. It's looking for B2. No, my local value is in B1. So now you know how to copy and paste and then fix B1. The range is 2,842 and the column index number, is it number 4? No, it's number 5 and then press enter. Let's look one more time. Uh, again, the range is A3. A3, I'm looking for the table do you remember the table so if you think this is going to confuse you you don't use it but now I have the correct result look V lookup B1 in Virginia the range the range has to be the same in all of your functions you put 5 for the resource name and then false to use the exact value in the number which is the lookup value listed date listed date is let's count one two three four five and then scroll to the right do i have listed date yes i have five and then i have six and then i have seven listed date is column number seven so i will go back here that's why in the instructions it tells you here that you need to make sure you can uh, this is another scenario you can copy the function from here and then go back to your listed date and then paste the function it gives you the right result right you can but it, it is in green you can apply the style from here you go to home tab and then use the format painter and then apply the style to this one and that will give you the correct listed date are we good perfect so now let's go ahead and use or take this function from here which is for cell B6 I will go to B6 and then paste this function and make sure that I use the format painter to change the format and now it says here enter 00002360 and 23 in cell B1 in the solution sheet and notice the data below so now let's your let's say your manager told you Bob please go ahead and find out zero 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 two three enter look at that isn't it cool it is very nice instead of going to this big giant spreadsheet and keep looking for data up and down right and left and waste your time you use the VLOOKUP function as you have seen here. Very easy, very nice way to do it. 
enter different number and notice the data below if you would like to test your solution you can come here and then say well I know that this number or this number here has a city of and then a resource name of and then keep looking at other information and then go to the solution and test it but for our scenario here I'm testing number 23 you can find number by opening the Virginia sheet and then pick any number from column A I just showed you how to do that but you don't have to do it this is just for a demonstration save the file and upload Excel Lab 6 via Blackboard so you need to save this file and upload it but make sure that at the last number that you are looking for is 00000023 so I know that you are using the correct result and make sure that you have the correct VLOOKUP function for each item you are looking for uh, I think that takes us to the end of our uh, lecture today or our lab I hope you did learn something new today and I will see you in the future bye bye everyone